problem. Scripting, filming, and editing video content takes a ton of time, even if it's just short form, TikToks, Reels, and Shorts. Idea, what if we could use AI to clip our existing long form horizontal videos and automatically generate short form vertical videos with little to no work? Solution, using the latest technology from OpenAI, we can transcribe our horizontal videos, feed the transcriptions into GPT-4, and with some clean code, use FFMPG to clip, combine, and crop individual sections of our horizontal long-form video into vertical portrait-style videos. Now, if none of that made sense, but you're still interested in an application like this, and you don't have something that you're already using to automatically generate vertical videos from your horizontal videos, Stick around, drop a like. This is a tool that could easily be turned into a full blown product. Today, I wanna to show you guys an application I built called Cut It Up. This is a Python application I built to transform my horizontal video into more than 15 individual shorts. I ran one command with one video and generated 15 shorts, the app. All right, so first things first, let's show off what exactly this application can do. So as you can see here, I have my previous master disruption YouTube video that I just posted this week. Industry disruption is a tale as old as time. One. So that's about seven minutes of horizontal long form video content. So I'm gonna open up my terminal. I'm gonna to go to that project folder. So I'm gonna run Python main. I'm gonna say dash A, which means all, basically means run all the processing, don't worry about that, I'll explain that in a moment. Dash A, dash CC, which is gonna be the clip count. And let's go ahead and generate five clips. And then I'm gonna pass in the title of the uh, video. So it's master disruption.mov. And that's it, just this one command, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And this command is gonna generate five clips. So this is gonna take some time to run. Okay, so fast forward a little bit, as you can see here, um, I have five brand new clips. This is really cool, right? So I just sat here, <laughs> I didn't do anything. From the horizontal video, I now have five shorts. So let's go ahead and play one. If you use these principles the right way, they'll point you to what you should be focusing on and what you should be ignoring. With the rise of AI generated content, we're going to see a lot of noise. So being principled is key. Run in, not out. This is a fire sale not a fire. Disruption favors flexible, fast moving risk takers. Sarah took a risk in adopting this new technology. That risk. Okay, nice. So you can see there it cut off like right at the end. I must've had a pause right after that. And GPT-4 thought that that was a good time to clip. So sometimes I do come in here afterward and just like trim a little bit off the end. I'll just come in afterward with quick time and just shorten the video a little bit and ship it off after that. I have five vertical videos from the single long form video, all from running that one script. This is the value that I was talking about in that video, honestly, like you wanna focus on being able to do more with less. To be able to generate multiple shorts from a single horizontal video is a fantastic way to leverage AI. So let's check out another one. Scaffold an entire application. These are just a few examples of scaling your impact and focusing on doing more with less. This single principle can take you to the moon and beyond. During the noise of the AI boom, focus on tools, technology, and ideas that allow you to do more with less. Perfect more. example. <laughs> that's literally what this is. Why <laughs> wrappers around ChatGPT. And although that's fantastic and there's value in that, it's not gonna allow you to do a ton more with less the big winners will emerge. Focus on this principle and you'll know when these winners emerge. That was a near perfect clip. And honestly, you could send that off and it wouldn't matter, right? So that's really cool. This is working really well. I'm really happy with this product. Obviously you can come in here and arbitrarily change the number of clips you wanna create, right? So if you have a 10, 20, 30 minute long horizontal video, you can come in and just say, create 15 or create, you know, 100 clips. This will definitely take some time, but the majority of time taken is in transcribing the video and then in clipping and cropping. So how is Cut It Up automatically converting our horizontal videos into vertical videos? Let's check out the README for the high level architecture of the application. So Cut It Up is all about converting one video with one command to 100 shorts. The first step is taking the entire video and we transcribe using WhisperX. The second step, we use GPT-4 to generate 
a .sh clip generator script. So what's happening here is I'm actually reading the transcribed data back from WhisperX into GPT-4 using the OpenAI APIs. And with that information, I'm asking GPT-4 to read a .tsv file, which is a specific type of transcription. And based on the transcription, I'm, I'm asking GPT-4 to look for frames of time that have interesting content that would do well as an individual vertical video. So that's what step two is doing. And then I'm actually running the script that GPT-4 is generating based on the transcriptions. So now we're actually gonna run this. And what this does is it runs an FFM PEG command per clip that I wanna generate that GPT-4 has selected timeframes for. After that, I run a crop command on each video using FFM PEG once again. And after step four, I transcribe each individual video. We're gonna go ahead and burn the transcriptions into the video. Lastly, we're gonna take our clips that were generated and we're gonna output them to whatever the environment variable is set up to. So I have this set up to my desktop. And so you can see the general flow, we transcribe, we generate the sh files, we clip, we crop, we transcribe each individual cropped item, then we burn its transcriptions in, aka create the captions, and then we dump. I use a step-based architecture that's driven entirely by CLI flags. So let's hop over to the code and I can show you exactly what I mean by that. So this is the main.py file and as you can see, every high-level step is its own function in the main file. You don't need a breakdown of how all this code works, but I want to focus on some of the juicy parts here. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of command line flags. You can see we passed in the dot A, which means all, and the CC, which is the clip count. All the dash A flag does is if it's enabled, we go ahead and set all the other possible steps to true. And as you can see here, we have a ton of other flags. So there are some customizations here. I can set up the burn uh, outline color. So what's the outline color of the captions? We can set up the specific LLM model. So this is right now just set up to use OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4. Here we have the transcribe flag. So that turns on and off the transcribe step, the clip, crop, prompt. And then I have crop X here, which basically says, how far over to the right or to the left do you want your short to be? in the scope of your entire horizontal video. And then I have the individual transcription step and the final burn step. And lastly, we have dump, which basically just takes the content from the directory of the application and puts it somewhere else. Usually I just have that pointed right at my desktop. And so after that happens, we put together a couple of models. As you can see here, it's actually quite simple. The step-based architecture is really fantastic because it allows me to enable and disable certain aspects of the script very easily, very quickly. So for instance, I don't need to keep rerunning the WhisperX transcription on the entire video. That's the most time consuming part of running the cut it up application. So conditionally, I can just supply all the other flags and ignore the transcription flag, which is the dash T flag. And if I've already generated the prompt from OpenAI, I can just skip this step as well. So it's a really cool way to opt in and opt out. You should definitely try this architecture in some of your own work. So let's go ahead and dig into the prompt because I feel like that's the most interesting part of this, right? So what is, what's the prompt I'm using? So let's go ahead and hop into my chat GPT module. And I'm going to, I'm going to place the prompt in the description. If you have FFM PEG on your local machine and a horizontal video, you can easily set this up and run this yourself just by swapping out a couple things in the prompt. But here's the prompt. So let's create blank clips of interesting content from file path using FFMPG and this .tsv files. Remember the TSV file is the transcription that's generated from WhisperX. So that gets placed here. I literally just dumped the entire TSV file here. If you have super long running videos, like an hour plus, you're probably gonna need to use the GPT-4 with the 32K token model. So then I, specify, follow these rules. And so then I just list several rules, create n calls to FFMPG with interesting content based on the start and and text of the .tsv file. So just to show you guys quickly what the .tsv file looks like. So you can see here, industry disruption is a tale as old as time. So that's the opening line for that video. And as you can see, it has a start and an end time. So imagine this passed in as that block and GBT is now looking at the entire transcript of the video with timestamps. 
And then with this, you can ask, look for interesting content and do it within a specific set of rules. And then I want you to take the timestamps from the .tsv file and the interesting content that you found and create FFMPEG commands to clip the long form video within that time frame that you found. So kind of cool, it's, kind of, it's a really interesting intersection between a couple different technologies. Then I say each clip should contain a concise idea. It should make sense to a viewer. Clips should complete where text end with a period. So this is really important. If you don't, if you don't specify this, it cuts off randomly in the middle of sentences, which isn't ideal, obviously. The start and end columns are in milliseconds. And so there are just a couple additional things you need to specify here so that GPT doesn't get confused. And then I say create clips with a duration between 20 and 45 seconds. Don't create clips that exceed, and then I pass in the video length. I was having trouble with overflows when I was testing and building this, so I added this line to prevent that. And then I added an example of the output. So this is the actual FFMPG command you can see that gets run. Basically, I point it to a, a input file path, and then I point it to an output file path as well with the file name. So you can see there's some string templating going on here to get this prompt to work fully. And that's where the dynamic elements of this come in and which is really cool because this prompt is really fueling the core of the application. If you think about it, when you're editing your video, the hard part is adding your judgment to the application that knows basically nothing about your video. It has no context. Your video editor has no idea of context of what is interesting or what is cool or the mood you're trying to capture or the message you're trying to convey within your content. So this prompt using GPT-4 allows you to hand off that judgment to AI to say, hey, find the interesting pieces in here. And it doesn't do this perfectly well. I'll admit that for sure. Oftentimes I had to come in and clip some of the content afterward, but it still gets you 80, 90. And sometimes it got me hundred percent there. One clip would just be absolutely perfect. And I could just pluck it out and use it as a short. Yeah. So that's the prompt. That's the juicy part. That's really what I wanted to show you guys here. One of the big things I'm focusing on in the age of AI is how can we make this stuff useful? How can we use AI to apply judgment to a problem? where we don't need the full judgment of a person, right? And I think converting horizontal videos to vertical videos is a great example of that, right? Like there is a right way to do this. All you really need is something that understands what interesting, engaging content is. And for the most part, GPT-4 knows what that is in a weird way, like an understanding of culture and context. So that's what really enabled me to build this application in really a short amount of time. I built this in less than a week, I think. I probably sat down for three sessions and was able to program the whole thing. And now I use this application really to generate all my shorts from my long form video content and I save a ton of time. So what do you think? Is this cool? Is this useful? I'm gonna share the prompt in the description if you've got FFMPG running. You can modify the prompt and run this yourself to see how powerful this is. Drop a comment if you could use an application like this. I'm thinking something like a, a desktop application that's super simple to use, where you just drag in your horizontal long form video and then you say how many and it just spits out shorts for you. If you could use something like that, drop a comment, drop a like, let me know. I can definitely turn this into a product. On my YouTube channel, you can see the original master disruption horizontal long form video. And you can also see all the shorts that I generated with it. So definitely check that out. This is a real thing. I'm not just making this video <laughs> showing like a proof of concept. I built this, I'm using it. And I wanted to share this with you so that you can see what you can build. And also for you to provide some feedback so that I can maybe turn this into a real product. By the way, I think that the master disruption video that I put out is one of my best on AI so far. So definitely check that out. If you're interested in learning how to think about and form good principles for thriving and surviving in the age of AI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.